Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is me coming to you with another puzzle for the Bremster Unpublished Puzzle Video Playlist. This is a puzzle I created a few months ago and have not revisited. Um, I was going through my old puzzles and found this one. Um, I vaguely remember this one. Um, it, it did not have a name, so I've given it one. Looking at it, I've decided to call it Isle Land. Um, and yeah, this is a German Whisper puzzle. So um, yeah, because this is going to my into my unpublished i don't know when this is ever going to be seen or if it's ever going to be released to the main channel probably not um so um yeah let's have a look at how this puzzle works so normal sudoku rules apply in every box in every row and in every column the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition and we've got german whisper lines which means that on these green lines adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five that's all we've got i'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot of course there's a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself that's the main purpose of this for you to uh, be exposed to one of my puzzles without me having to put the puzzle on the main channel. So um, the big trick I can see for starting this puzzle, I do not remember setting this, it was months ago, um, is because of the nature of a German whisper line. First of all, you can never put five on a German whisper line because five different from um, a five, five higher or five lower than five would be zero or lower or 10 or higher, not allowed by um, normal Sudoku rules. So in row one, five will have to go in here. But when you um, think about that, four and six are, are very similarly restricted. The only digit between one and nine that is five away from six is one. And the only digit that is five away from four between one and nine is nine. So we can place the one and nine immediately. This of course means that one has to go in one of these cells. However, the nature of a German whisper line is they must alternate the high low polarity because if you start with a digit that is low, one to four, Anything that is five different is going to be high, six to nine. And if you start with six to nine, then it'll jump to, it'll leapfrog the five each time because of the five difference. So this digit cannot be low because it has to be the same high low as this. Um, as this. So the one is going to be in one of these. So these actually have to be from one, two, three. Um, because these have to be the same high low as this and this is going to have to be from seven eight it can't be six because if this was six the only thing that um, is five away is one and both of those would have to be one rather than just one of them so that gives us this this six of course makes this one this four makes this nine we know that five is in one of those two um, so that's interesting. Five is, well, actually in this column, five is placed here. So in this column, oh, there's no one here. So that actually places the one up here. Um, this, in this column, five can't be here now and five is here. I'm actually going to turn off the check pencil marks. Um, and now in this row, we can't put five here or here and we can't put five on a whisper line. So this becomes the five. So this is not the five. Okay, so this can't be, this is a low digit and it can't be four because both of those would have to be nine. So this is two, three. These are from seven, eight, nine. Um, this one can't be nine because it sees a nine in the column. Uh, this is a seven, eight pair. So this actually becomes the nine. And now we've got one, two, three, seven, eight, and nine. So these are four, five, and six, and we can't put a four or a five in here. So we put a six in the middle. That is actually kind of cool. Um, so what do we have now? Let's continue with this. This has to be low. So it's two or three because it can't be one or four. And these are seven, eight, nine. And this nine looks down, meaning this can't be the nine. Now in here, this has to be, again, I, I don't remember this, but I'm kind of happy with it. Um, this has to be a high digit. So six, seven, eight, nine. It can't be nine and it can't be six because both of those would have to be one. This gives me a seven, eight pair. So this becomes the nine and this becomes a five, six pair because these are low because they have to be the same high low as this four. So these are from one, two, three. One of those has to be a one. This one can't be the one. So this becomes a one. That's actually kind of nice. I like it. So this has to be low and it can't be one or four. So this is two, three. This has to be low, but there's a lot more freedom there. But I know what this is now. Don't I? This is seven, eight. Because I've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and nine. So this is seven, eight. What have I got here? Well, this has to be high. And I've got six and nine. So this is seven, eight. This, so this has to be low. It can't be four, but it's, uh, it could be one, two, or three. This is low. And this could be four. So this is two, three, or four. It can't be one because of multiple reasons. This is high. And that could be almost anything. Six, seven, eight, or nine. So these lines are a lot less powerful. Interesting. So this is two or three because um, I've got the one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine already in the column. So that becomes two or three. This is low. So this is two, three, or four. It can't be four because that can't be nine. So this is two or three. That's a two, three pair in the row. This is one, two, three, or four. Hmm. So looking at this, Two of those need to be low. So I need to put a low and a high on here, and I need to put a low and a high on here. But I've already got two lows in the box. So I've taken up the lows. This has to be high. So this is seven, eight, or nine, and it can't be nine. So it's seven or eight. So there has to be a nine in one of those two. Yeah, that's just by Sudoku. There's a nine in one of those two. This is weird. Six has to go in here somewhere. And I can't put six in here. So one of these, no, that's broken. Oh no, six I've already got. Hang on, this can't be six because this can't be one. And six can't be here. Six has to be one of those two. I can't put six here because then both of those would have to be one. So six is at the end of one of these. So one of these has to be one. Which means one is down here. This becomes the one. Because that one there prevents... Because one of these being six means one of those is one. This is not one. So this is high... And can't be six, so it's seven or eight. So I've now got a seven, eight pair. So what are these? Four, six, nine? Well, I can't put six there. So six is in one of those two. Actually, there's no nine there. This is a four, six pair. So that is nine. So there's no nine there. There's no nine there. This can't be four anymore. So where's four in this row? Four can't go, four is not in any of those cells. This is a four, six pair. So this is a one, nine pair because wherever the four is has to have the nine and wherever the six is has to have the one. So there's no four here. So I've got one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. This is also four, six. I don't remember this at all. In here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, these are two, three, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got to put a nine down here. So this is nine. I 
And these are alternating polarity. So whichever one, if this is low, this is low, this is low, this is low, or vice versa. I don't remember this at all. This is cool. I know it may not be done to say that your own puzzles are cool, but... So what do I need to put in here? I need to put two, three, seven, eight. So I do need to put two and three in here. These are four, six, seven, eight. This is high and it can't be six or nine. So this is also seven or eight because six is here and nine is here. So four is in here and it's not there. So that is actually a four. So what are these? Two, three, and five? But there's a two, three pair. That's the five. This is a two, three. So one of these, oh, okay. One of these has to be low because these are alternating. So whichever one is four, it's got to have a low here. So these are two, three, nine. And then there's got to be a high in here, which is going to be the other seven, eight. So this, these are two, three, seven, eight again. Is that right? Because the high digit I've got available is seven, eight and the low digit I've got available. So these are two, three, seven, eight, which has given me a two, three, seven, eight quad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are five and six. And these are two, three, seven, eight. I think I need to color. Do I color two threes or seven eights? Let's try twos and threes. So this, if this is yellow, this is blue. These can't be the same digit. And then this has to be different to this. So this is going to be the, this is going to be blue. These are the same digit. Then this is yellow. So this is blue. This is blue. Oh, there's a two, three pair. This is not the two, three. This is the seven, eight. This is not the seven, eight. This is the two, three. So this is yellow. This is blue. This is yellow. This is blue. This is yellow. Where does yellow go in this box now? It has to go there. This is the yellow two, three because of Sudoku. I can't put it there. I can't put it there. And those can't be two, three. So it has to go there. So whichever one of these is the blue two, three, and I can't put the blue two, three there. That is not two, three, because it sees both blue and yellow. That's the nine. That is not the nine. This is the blue two, three. And the yellow two, three is in one of those. I don't have that yet. The yellow two, three can't go there. It's in one of those. So this is the nine. So this is the one. So this is the nine. One goes with six. Nine goes with four. Oh, this can't be two, three because of the alternating polarity. This is the seven, eight. There's no seven, eight here. This is the two, three, and that's the yellow two, three. So the yellow two, three is down here somewhere. The blue two, three has to be there. That's the blue two, three. So the blue two, three is now there by Sudoku because there's four blue two, threes looking into this box. This is nuts. I like it a lot. So these are two, three, and five. Yeah, five has to be down here. So there's a yellow two, three, and five in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are six, seven, and eight.
and six. Oh, this isn't the six. This is the seven, eight. This is the six. One of those is yellow. Yellow is in here. So I can't put two, three in here. Ah, this six looks down. This is five. This is six. The five looks up. This is four. This is five. So I know what these are. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are both seven, eight. So these are one, two, and three. And that's not the one. Whoops. So this is the yellow two, three, and this is the one. So this is not two, three. This is the five. This is not the five. That's the yellow two, three. So these are one, two, three, four, five, four, seven, eight. This is, so if this is four, seven, eight, what's that? Because four has to be in here. So one, two, three, four, this is the five, which looks up making that six and that five. That looks down making that four, which means that's not four and this is four. So there's a six in there and it's not there. So this is the six, this is the seven, eight. This is the seven, eight. And now I've got it all down to the pairs. Oh, this four makes this six, which makes this four. And now I'm literally down to the two, three and the seven, eight. So the thing that's breaking the symmetry is that line. But that could be two and both of those could be seven. Oh, I see. One of those has to be seven. And if that's seven, that is two. And if that's seven, that is two. And both of those are the same. So blue is two. Yellow is three. I can now get rid of all of the coloring. And now where three is, uh, find a three in a line, that has to be eight. So that has to be seven. That has to be seven because three cannot go next to seven on a whisper line. So this becomes eight. Uh, this becomes seven. This becomes eight. Uh, this becomes eight. This becomes seven. Uh, this, no, something else will see something. This seven makes this eight and this seven, which makes this eight and this seven. Uh, this three makes this eight, which makes this seven, which makes this eight and this seven. And the seven looks down making that eight and that seven. And that is Isle Land by Bremster. Uh, yeah, I made this a couple of months ago and I it was just in my puzzle list and I didn't remember it. Um, I, it would have easily been lost if I wasn't going through looking at my old puzzles for... I was chatting to a couple of people and they turned around and said, so what were you, what have you done recently? And it's like, I did nothing. And I was just going through looking at what I'd done. And yet I, I saw this unnamed puzzle. It was like, I, what was this? Um, and I thought I would try and solve it on camera in case it was good. And I'm pretty happy with this one. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the puzzle. Uh, yeah. And um yeah, thanks for finding the uh, the playlist, and as always, good luck with your solving.